Hello everybody! In this video I will show you a big neodymium cube magnet that is made up of a lot of small individual cube magnets. In total these are 343 cube magnets. Each of them is 5 mm and these are N52 rated so they are the strongest you can buy at this size. And yeah, the shape isn't that special at all, but the field of it is quite interesting that it forms. And I will show you this under the magnetic viewing film. So what you can see here is basically one of the two poles, as you could say. So a strong side of the cube magnet. And as you can already see, we have a lot of individual poles that are separated by these white lines also called plane of inertia and yeah as you can see when I move it away a bit field extends quite far and now I will rotate the magnet 90 degrees and then you see uh, the side of it or just one side that has a much weaker field with a very irregular field structure that you can see here. And if I just move the magnet away a bit, this is just one or two millimeters, you will see that the field disappears completely. So the magnetic field here on this side is very weak and doesn't extend really far. And yeah, the same happens if I rotate it again 90 degrees and show you another weak side. The pattern is a bit different, but also quite irregular. Also on this side when I rotate it again and on the fourth side again when I rotate it. And if I rotate it like this, we have the strong side again, all of these individual poles. Notice that it doesn't form one big pole like some would expect, but all of these small individual poles. Same on the other side. So this is just a field shape under the magnetic viewing film. And now I will show you some more interesting effects about this. Here I have more of these 5 mm cube magnets stacked together. And if I attach it on the weak side, like this, you will see it sticks, but it really sticks very weak. If I just give it a slight push with my finger, it falls off immediately. And yeah, of course, if I do this on the strong side, they will stick very well. And I have a hard time removing them. So now let's do that again with a steel screw. And I attach it on the weak side. And you will see this is a really big magnet of lots of very strong neodymium magnets. It doesn't stick at all like this. If I try to put it on like this. Yeah, it also doesn't stick with this one. If I do it gently, I can make it stick a bit. But if I just shake it a bit, it will fall off. Which is kind of interesting, I think. That the field here is this weak. And of course, on the, st on the strong side here, it's attached really strong. I can hold it you can see it, I can hold the whole cube, which is quite heavy, just with the screw. And on this side, this light screw doesn't even want to stick on here. So, this effect appears with these cube magnets. And if I just unravel these magnets to one string, you will see the same effect happening here under the magnetic viewing film. You will see these two, two poles on each side and this irregular pattern in the middle. That really doesn't extend very far. If I just remove the stack a bit, like one or two millimeters from the film, you will see the two poles are still visible, but in the center there is no magnetic field visible anymore. And also here, nothing sticks to here, but 
here the screw sticks very well and this pattern doesn't repeat on this um, yeah, ring magnets these are four ring magnets stacked together so I just did that to also make a, a long shape but with this one the, the geometry of the magnets these are much wider and not so small so the field has a more regular shape that you would expect from a magnet this is what you see here under the viewing film we have the two poles and the plane of inertia this is the white line in the center just like with any regular magnet and yeah of course the top pole the other pole and if you take a screw like this it wants to stick on the poles of course because here it is attracted the strongest but you can also put it to the center and it will not fall off it still sticks to here because the field also extends here in the center quite far yeah that is just what I wanted to show you what the field looks like with this big cube magnets and yeah hope you enjoyed it so thanks for watching and goodbye